Look at it. Reyna. Reyna. That was beautiful. Did you just saw what Reyna did? Now, because I'm about to show you guys the first youth intake of this save, I decided to start this episode with the profile of Julian Rykov. He's a Dutch 18-year-old uh, striker that was banging in goals for our under-19s. I've promoted him to the first squad, at least to train with the big boys, because he'll be an emergency backup. I've made him available for the under-19, so he can keep banging in goals there. It's April the 1st, the youth intake day took place around two weeks ago. I decided to come back right before the first game of this episode. We had an excellent youth intake with one elite talent, a bunch of top talents and three good talents. So let's start from the bottom. I'm not going to even try to pronounce this guy's name. He's a Polish uh, winger that can play on the left. Five determination with the right guidance, this can improve. I don't see him uh, becoming even a free star player. Next one, we have a no nonsense central back, Basim Rekic. Okay, he has some good mentals, heading only six, but he's only 15. By the way, all of my youth players that came through this season were 15 year olds. I don't know if this is something new with FM23 or maybe this was just a coincidence in my save and in this youth intake. Let me know in the comments if your youth players are all 15 year olds. Moving on to the last good talent, a wing back that can play on the left, Bulent Shalik. His parents are probably Turkish. Not gonna make it and that's all I'm gonna say about this guy. Moving on to top talent, we got Marcus Shuster, a winger on the right. Maybe, I guess I'm going to train him on the left as an inside forward. Yeah, he has a lot of improvement to do, but like I said, only 15. Next one, we have a Turkish left winger, Ilhan Aydin. Determination 16, which I like. This is the first attribute that I look at when I click on a youngster. To see how determined he is. He's left footed of course. Now you know when I see a player that can't play naturally as a winger. I immediately think of wing back. But I don't know. We'll see. Moving on to the next one. We have a right back Leo Montag. Ooh quite determined 19. Yeah I think this guy is going to be a decent player. We have another right back, Damian Pietrick. Not as good as the previous one, but maybe with the right guidance, he can be a squad player. Next, it seems we have two deep lying playmakers. First one, Manfred Etner. Okay, I like this guy, he's decent. Determination 17, Flair 17, Teamwork 16. First touch 14, technique 12, balance 12. Yes, he's a 16 year old, but he just turned 16 two days ago. So when he came through the youth academy, he was still 15. That's what I'm saying. All of them were 15 year olds. The other deep line playmaker, Edmund Fruf. It seems like he's our star graduate. Let's see him. Yes, he seems to be better in technicals than the other guy. His determination is only 12, flair 2, <laughs> okay. Yeah, bravery 14, decision making 14, work rate 14, first touch 14. Yeah, I like this guy as well. Fairly ambitious, left footed. And the last top talent is the goalkeeper Davide Catania. He's, they say he's German. Probably one of his parents is uh, Italian. All right. All right, let's see you as a sweeper keeper. First touch only three, passing six, vision two. But he has some good goalkeeping attributes for a 15 year old and physically he's really agile. Might turn out to be a good backup in the future. And the best of them, the elite talent, another deep line playmaker. So we have three deep line playmakers. Ricky Lemke, uh, Ricky Lemke, Lemke, something like that. 
I think this guy is already a Bundesliga 2 player. I'm serious. He's pretty decent, 16 first touch, 16 technique. He has some good mentors, gr good, great physicals actually for a 15 year old. Yeah, I can see this guy becoming a world class deep lying playmaker. But we won't get to see them because uh, this save won't take too long. Uh, I'll, the full game will get released in a couple of days. So I'm planning to continue this save for maybe just one more season and that's all. I don't know if I'll continue in our third season. Let's just get there and uh, we'll see. Now let's see some results. After the last episode we had a spectacular game against Hertha Berlin. We took the lead, Reina, with a great finish with his left foot. But after that, Hertha Berlin had all the highlights, all the chances in this first half. We were defending for our lives and they've managed to turn it around. 1-1 after 13 minutes and they took the lead in the 26th minute. Nice, powerful shot. I was really disappointed, I was fuming, I let the guys know at half time, I made a couple of changes and in just 12 minutes we've managed to score 4 goals, Fofana equalized in the 55th minute, we took the lead 5 minutes later, I think it was Reina or maybe Fofana again, no, it was Reina all the way, 4 minutes later, 4-2 with Schul after a great cross from Marco Royce, and just two minutes later, Fofana got his double. Spectacular 5 2 win. We lost the second leg against Ren. 3 2, Julian Brand with a brace. Yes, we've lost the game, but uh, it's not important. We got through. A 2 0 victory away at Hoffenheim. Fofana and Giovanni Reina. Then came a disappointing 0 0 draw against Leipzig, and I thought. Our dreams of uh, winning the Bundesliga this season was shattered, but Bayern München also dropped two points, so we're still one point behind them. We were drawn against uh, Real Hispalis, this is Betis Sevilla in uh, the Europa League round of 16. 3-1 at home, shelter up Ademi and uh, Joao Gomez getting his first goal for the club. And 2-0 away from home with Ademi and Marco Royce. Between this game we won away at our rivals. Schalke 2-0, Schul and Marco Royce from a penalty and in the last game a 2-0 victory against Kjol, Marco Royce getting a double, Marco Royce in a really good form. Today we're going to be playing our toughest game of the season away at Bayern München and away at Leverkusen in the DFB Pokal quarter final. And I already know what my next episode will be about, the quarter final of the Europa League against Man United where I'm gonna show you guys both legs. So like I said we're uh, still one point behind Bayern München. I think if they're going to win today they're gonna win the league there's no chance we can recover from that and in the DFB Pokal if we get past Leverkusen there's still Bayern München around Schalke, Werder Bremen or Hertha Berlin. Now let's get smashed by Bayern. So this is the first 11 I've chosen for the toughest game of the season. Lotka in goal, Guerrero, Nico Beck, Schul, Randall Correa, yes, you'll get to see this guy for the first time. Joao Gomez, Bellingham, Reina, Royce behind Haller and Mukoko on the right, even though Adem is on the bench. I don't think I'm going to use him. He's still injured and I don't want to risk him. I'm going to go with uh, the no pressure here and I hope it works. It kind of did against Man City away from home when we had a really good game and uh, we lost dramatic just to a stupid goal scored by Haaland in the last few seconds of the game. Now let's see how this will turn out. Okay, we got a corner with Guerrero. Get it back please. Okay, Randall Correa is there. I'm gonna nickname him so Correa comes up. Uh, in this highlight and not Thierry or whatever Thierry are. Oh, 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 Royce, yes, mate, yes, Royce, his 16th goal of the season, like I said, he was in really good form. Oh, what a terrible mistake there. Yeah, Delight and Royce, great job, mate, great job, Haller, pressing forward, did his job. Okay, we're still attacking Bellingham, oh my word, he's still, 
after 18 minutes and we're gonna go top of the league if we can keep it up i don't want to get too excited because i'm afraid he's still early in the game and they might turn it around but what a shot from bellingham and what a mistake from manuel neuer there oh my word if we score again jesus guerrero we are having all the highlights oh oh my word look at it reina reina that was beautiful did you just saw what reina did <laughs> I was not expecting this. Nobody was expecting this. Look at what Reyna did right here. Getting that ball in with his head. That's new. And a deflection. Yes, Royce was lucky there. But with Frenil up, that's what's important. Jesus. We're approaching half time, And this was an amazing half. We just smacked Bayern München around. They had no chances. Nothing. This was the perfect first half. Yes, I'm happy. Of course, I'm happy. Now, let's keep going. <laughs> Guerrero is on a 6.5, but that's okay. With Freddy Lab, Jesus Christ, don't concede now, please. Okay. That's great. Okay, I paused the game. I'm going to make some subs. Uh, first one uh, will be Candidio for Guerrero, who's on a 6.5. And I'm bringing Julian Brand in for... Sebastian Haller and I'm moving Mukoko up front. Okay, here we go. Upamecano, Stach, Musiala. I think this is going to end up with a goal. I can smell it. No. All right, even though we're freeing it up, I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to waste some time and play for uh, set pieces. Yes, I'm still afraid of them. I'm still afraid they'll come back into this game, play for set pieces. Let's go. Confirm the changes. And there's a chance for a counter attack with Sané. What a player. I didn't understand why Man City just let him go back then. Delight. Pamecano. Sabita. Back to Pamecano. I don't know who Stach is. Maybe they just signed him. Sané. Is Sadio Mané playing? I think he's right here. Oh, they scored. Is this Mané? Yeah. Let's uh, see the replay. Was it Kimmich? Because I was clicking on Mané. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Lotka should have done better there, but that's all right. Oh my word. Just two minutes later. I'm afraid they're going to equalize. I'm really afraid of that. I'm going to make some other subs after this highlight. Sabitzer to Kimmich. First time to Sané. Okay, they're moving the ball around really nice. Lotka. Sané. Oh, my word. So close. We got away with it. Okay, I'm pausing the game. They're saying I should bring in Oscar for Bellingham. Sure, Bellingham is really tired. Who else should I bring in? Randall Correa is kind of tired, but I don't think I'm going to sub him off. Shelter up for uh, Giovanni Reina. I have faith in you people. Let's go. No. It's done. It's done. It's done. We're top of the league. And I think now we're favorites to win it. Oh, boy. Oh, what have we done here? Yeah, you should be pleased. We're on top of the table. Yeah, what a performance in that first half. Now, let's do the same to Leverkusen. Now, why should I change anything in this first 11 after that good performance against Bayern München? The only changes are on the bench. I dropped Ademi Hamels, who are both still injured, and I replaced them with Gittens and Koulibaly. Yeah, let's do it for the fans, boys. This is our chance. Let's get to the semi-finals. I have faith in you people. I hope we can continue our good form. I hope Marco Roy scores again. Okay, here we go. Jonathan Tach. Good central de defender. Hudson Odoi on loan. I think he's on loan this season from Chelsea. Uh, good chance for Patrick Schick. We got lucky there. Okay, uh, corner, Frimpong. Patrick Schick. Oh, what a chance and what a save from Lotka. And after that by Guerrero. Come on, he didn't went in. Yeah, Leverkusen are dominating the game. I don't like what I'm seeing here. 
Tell Nick Lashaw to Mark Patrick Schick, sure, let's ignore this. I think I need to have a chat with the boys at half time. Five more minutes until uh, half time, and we have a highlight here with uh, Bayer Leverkusen, Jonathan Tach, Frimpong, Hudson Odoi. Reyna recovers the ball well, Haller plays it to Mukoko. Back to Haller. Randall Correa, come on, Haller, come on, mate. Get a goal for. Oh, Royce. That was close. Great job for um, uh, Correa. I want uh, Sebastian Haller to do well. We are paying him 210k per week. Jesus. I'm not happy. We simply have to be better in front of goal. That's right. Get your act together, boys. And uh, let's hope uh, we can turn things around because Leverkusen are dominating the game. Yeah, I'm going to sub off uh, Sebastian Haller. He's on a 6.2. And Mukoko is not doing too well, but uh, I'm going to keep him around for just a few more minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Let's bring in Fofana for now for uh, Haller. Royce is also on a 6.4. Gomez is on a 6.3 now. Okay. So Oscar is going to come in for Gomez. I'm going to keep Marco Royce. And Julian Brandt is coming in for Mukoko. Bellingham is tired, but I cannot sub him off. Not now. Randall Correa. Come on, mate. Look at him go on that right side. Get a cross in. Cross is blocked. He gets the ball back. That's a good cross. And Fofana just missed the target. All right. I paused the game again. No, not Bellingham. Bellingham is staying in. I'm going to bring in shoulder up for Marco Royce and switch him with Reyna. And I think this was my last sub. No? Can I bring in Dahoud? Yes, I can. Okay. I can't risk an injury to Bellingham. Yeah. Okay, time is flying by. Nothing special happened. Get it back, please. Come on, boys. Let's score on the counter-attack and that will be it. I believe Leverkusen deserves to go through. They uh, dominated the game. But we get the ball back right here with Fofana Dahoud. Good ball to Julian Brand. Yes, mate, it's in. Yes. Come on. His seventh goal of the season. And this might be it. Three more minutes of regular time. Maybe three more minutes in extra time. And we'll be through to the semifinals. Great job. Or at least I think it's not a two-legged tie. No, it's not. Yes, mate. Come on. Well, I'll admit, they were the better team and we FM them. But nice work, everyone. That was good. Right, like I said, next episode is going to be all about the quarterfinals of the Europa League against Man United. And I'm going to play off camera the game against Stuttgart. Right, thank you guys very much for watching. Subscribe, give a like, leave a comment because it really helps. I'll see you for the next one.